Hi guys, so as you know, last week I went to see The Killers live in London. I went to the event at the event of Apollo and Hammersmith. This is the official t-shirt from it and it was amazing. And it was to promote Direct Hits, which is their greatest hits album, which I have right here. And I love the song Just Another Girl on it, which is the new song. They also have the original Mr. Brightside demo as well, which is absolutely brilliant. There's Mr. Brightside, Somebody Told Me, Smile Like You Mean It, All These Things That I've Done, When You Were Young, Read My Mind, For Reasons Unknown, Human, Spaceman, A Dust Down Fairy Tale, Runaways, Miss Atomic Bomb, The Way It Was, which I love that they included that on here because The Way It Was was one of my favourite songs of Battleborn. Uh, Shot at the Night, Just Another Girl, Mr. Brightside original demo, When You Were Young, Calvin Harris remix, which I don't love. It kind of sounds like anyone could have done it, right? Rather than Calvin Harris doing it himself and Be Still which is just such a great way to finish the album. Oh it's so beautiful, oh they're so clever those killers, they're so clever. Hermes with Apollo is like a big deal venue for a lot of musicians and it's you know a really, especially if you've gone up in London like you've probably seen quite a lot of gigs at Hermes with Apollo but the thing is for the killers it's like a really small venue and they actually tend to play quite a few small venues when they come to London because London was the first place that really embraced them and I think they like having that kind of nostalgia and, and yeah bringing it back and, and going to play places like Coco and uh, like Hammersmith Apollo which are not tiny but relative to the size of Wembley Stadium which they played this summer um, really small. It just felt like a very close group of people watching it. There were two guys who were absolutely nuts and just kept like shoving into me like full body slams and I pushed them harder than I've ever pushed anyone in my life like I literally two hands like shoved one of them to the side and I was like hey you back the F off. Except I didn't say F. When you walk towards House with Apollo, it has a really kind of old style announcement concert lettering on the outside as well. It says the killers. And I went with my friend Tom and doors were at seven. So we got there at like six to be a bit early, but also not to be too early because I um, had a lot of things to do in the day and he did as well because he was coming down from Oxford. And we got inside, maybe 15 rows back. Somehow, you know, ended up about six rows from the front. They played like an hour and a half set and it was absolutely outstanding. Like the engagement of the crowd, Brandon Flowers, oh my God, what a hero. Like he can, he loves a crowd so much and he just, he has this joy in performing, which I know kind of seems to go without saying, but there are so many acts I've seen who just do not seem to enjoy performing whatsoever. Sometimes it's because of the context, like I saw Kings of Leon headline Reading and they were absolutely terrible and I had a feeling that they just don't really like Reading and just didn't really want to headline that festival. But Brandon Flowers is such like a Las Vegas boy, he just loves the performance, he loves the stage and he just gives such a great performance, he just smiles all the time, climbing on top of things and lying down on things and like waving microphone stands around and he's such a great performer, it's, it's a thrill to watch him but so is everyone else as well you know all that the rest of the band when they're doing their solos when Ronnie Venucci was doing his drum solo it's just an electric performance but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here because I'm so excited just thinking about it and indeed when I got back from the gig um, I was just chatting to anyone who was awake about it and everyone thought that I was absolutely smashed or that I was on drugs so yeah anyway so going back they opened with shot the night which is such a good song to open with they'd actually opened with that on jules holland on the bbc like the night before i think it's such an electric crowd pleasing tune that everyone loves to sing along to and it just it really gets you going it makes you want to have a really good good night and as i mentioned the engagement of the audience before the whole gig brandon was very keen to push the whole singing along thing people just kept going singing the bass line after from here on out finished and then they went back and played it from the chorus again so that we could have a whole sing-along session again and that happened at many stages throughout the night. There's lots of like play and lots of cheeky going back into the middle of the song. Brian Flowers also did his acoustic version of Read My Mind, which I don't know if you've seen before, but it's so beautiful. It just kind of is one of those moments where you want to stop and listen and not do anything. You know how some people just basically stand with the whole gig with their arm in the air filming it with their camera or taking pictures with their camera? Most of these people kind of like brought down those cameras even though that was almost the ideal setting for a video you don't have as many people jogging your hands but people just wanted to be present and in that moment I can actually just feel my mouth like talking away at it again but it was such a special gig it was so special to be there for that for them the last however many times I've seen them they finished on when you were young because it's a really great big one to go out but then they came back for the encore with Jenny and it was very clearly getting to the time where people had to be out of the venue there was a real panic that passed around through everyone that they weren't going to play Mr Brightside and I've mentioned this so many times before but Mr Brightside is like the single most important song in the world for me like it is such an important song to me and I was getting really worried because firstly I knew that they normally finish on when you were young and that also they would play Jenny because it was a big song in the UK and that was uh, yeah again one of the first ones that we really embraced so I was pretty panicked in the back of my mind that they weren't going to play it and then that just little riff started and the spotlight and it was the very last song they played and it was such a moment and I just like danced my bleeding legs off 
I was so excited to be dancing there and to be there in that moment in the house with Apollo with the killers listening to that song with my friend and just having I just felt so alive I felt so alive and I like I want to say I felt infinite but like that that's a phrase that's been used and like pushed to the edge of its meaning that it has lost meaning for me but that's what it felt like it felt like it could go on forever and I wanted it to go on forever but I knew it had to be over but I wanted to just be there in that moment for such a long time listening to Mr Brightside but then okay so like there have been a couple of times when drumsticks have been thrown out throughout the gig like as you do but the very last set of drumsticks were thrown out at the end of Mr Brightside and so the very very last one fell around a meter in front of me and suddenly everyone like piles down this girl is grabbing the scruff of my neck and like yanking me down so for a second I couldn't breathe I reach down and I grab it someone snatches it out of my hand and then they drop it right in front of me so I snatched it down grabbed this amazing drumstick which I actually have over here one second and put it in my handbag and so here we have a Ronnie Venucci drumstick from the killers gig and from the Mr. Brightside um, on call with Jenny was a friend of mine as well and look you can see the little ridges you can buy t-shirts and stuff as I clearly have and you can buy CDs but gigs are special because they only exist in your mind but this is actually one of the few things that I feel like it's like an enchanted object it has like a physical a physical power to it and I actually slept with it under my pillow every night since I saw the killers last week it makes me so happy to have this and it, it yeah it feels enchanted and sacred and this is just my ramble of joy about how much I love seeing the killers I don't know whether that's helpful but if you have seen anyone especially the killers live recently then just make maybe make a little video tell me about it and if you already have just link me to it because I love seeing that post gig ecstasy and other people as long as it's not actually ecstasy I mean make your own choices maybe don't make a video on ecstasy that would probably be a bad thing